hello everyone everyone are getting a message from service now regarding the pda deactivation so they are planning for a data center migration where uh, our instances will be moved to a newer data center as part of that they are requesting us to take a backup of it what they are going to do is they will be releasing our instances that means our instances will be deleted and we can request for a new instance later okay once this time is completed and for me they sent it as a february first and uh, it will be changed for you maybe but what we need to do when we get this kind of mail is first our data our instance will be erased that's what the main uh, point here is so before it goes okay we need to take our all work on data backup okay how to take it is you need to go and get it from update sets if you are having all the update sets properly maintained okay then you need to keep them in update set and then let's say i captured all my work in my update set so if this is my update set i'll go here and then i'll take the backup of this update set so i will say complete so this is how i will take the backup of update set so take it complete and then save it and then once i save it i will be getting an option called export to xml so the export to xml option will download this file in the form of xml file okay so i got it so like this you will get it so if you have multiple update sets complete them all and then keep it one this is one option okay sir i didn't know update set concept i did so much of work and i found like it's all going to default update set okay so if it all goes to default update set then what you do is before that day okay try to complete this default update set and then take a backup because if you don't know anything about update set concept this is the first time if you are seeing it okay make the default update set complete and then take this backup this is also fine okay or you already have default update set everything is captured in your default update set but you want to move only that work so from last one month i have been developing something i created some tables i created some columns and all that work only i want to move it so what you do is you create a new update set go to local update set just create a new one okay here just give some name backup something okay and whatever you need it whatever the update set that you need it move all of them under this backup update set so how you move the update set from updates from one update set to another update set okay so let's say this is your default update set so here you captured so many things so you click this option means you go to default update set page you open it like this and then here in the list update set do you see? i think everyone can see this one update set right in the updates page you have update set these are all changes that are captured so the update set you change it to your default so now i want to change all my update set to default update so i am selecting all shift down arrow double click okay and backup i i moved to backup so like this whatever the changes that are needed i will move all of them into one place okay now my default update set so there are few cannot be moved just leave it okay how much you can take it you just take it now out of 32 okay 30 are moved and these two are not moved because they are in different scope maybe i need to change the scope and then move it so like this you move all of them to one update set okay maybe backup update set and then finally you take this backup okay you you once you feel like everything is moved under this you make it to complete save it and then you say export to xml this way you can make a backup okay and once you got the new one so once this time is done they will you can re request for a new one okay new one new pda once you got your pda then you need to go to retrieved update sets okay you need to go say go there and then retrieved update set and you need to say import update set from xml and then point that update set file that you need to do okay 
so whatever you took the backups you need to point here and then load it okay so in our channel how to commit updates set i have i did some detailed videos okay i think you can go through those videos they are pretty much simple and you can easily understand it sir what about data okay so as part of my practice i created this this much of data okay so i created 10 users how can i get it okay i created 100 incidents how can i get it so if it is a data okay whatever the data you want it to have a backup system data you don't want it okay created by system you don't care this is not required for you you can just ignore it okay it came with system this one you don't need it but data which you created that may be needed so how to take that backup so get that records which you created okay, created by your name or something then in the list you right click exactly on the header of one of the field and then say export to xml the export to xml will get the data exported into the form of xml file this is your backup okay once it is exported you get all the records in the form of xml file okay and once you get the new pda after that time you can go again here okay let it export so yeah so see here it is exporting now so the file is getting up and copying up here so do you see here the file is coming up right so like this you can export the data also right once you get a new okay so let's say uh, still it's loading it up yeah it's still exporting it once you export the data once you got the new instance what you need to do is again you need to go to the same list where you want to import it so that time you say right click import xml so import xml if you say it will ask you to point the particular file okay and whatever the file that you exported there the data file you point that in your new instance and then load it so this is the exported data which is just exported so point it in the new instance and then say open and then upload it will get the data loaded into your respective table so if it is an update set complete the update set make it complete and then take an xml if it is data right go from this table and then export it as a file xml file so this is how you need to take the backup and keep these files safely once you requested a new one then load it properly this is what you can do to prevent the data loss and development loss when this activity is being done okay hope this video will help you so forward this video to many people who are all uh, having service no okay, knowledge or service no experience okay, because uh, we may do so much of work as part of our practice so if we don't know this step we will be losing the data or all the work that we did okay hope this video will help so many people thank you bye